Hi, my name is Tarun and I will be providing you a basic overview of the Subversion plugin in Atmel Studio 6. Unc SVN is basically a source code management tool that lets you perform basic versioning operations directly within the Studio 6. In this video, I will be showing you how to enable source code management control within the studio, use the diff tool to compare between versions and to commit to your files once you are ready. Let's start by showing you on how to install the SVN plugin. Go to extension manager within the studio 6. Find the SVN plugin and install. Once you have installed, you can connect your project to the Unc SVN by opening the project within the studio as shown and clicking on File, Subversion and Change Source Control. Ensure it is selected as shown on the screen and click on connect and press OK. To explore the repository, click on the view repository explorer and you will see the code base as follows. You will see here for this demonstration I have my code base opened from my Google repository and the corresponding files. For using the diff tool to compare between the versions, click on the particular file. On the right click, you will find the option Show Changes. You will see three distinct colorations based on your modifications from the base version. The pink indicates any deleted code. The green indicates any changes or modifications that you have made. And the blue indicates any insertions. You will observe in your code base all the files that are in current to your base versions have a blue tick mark to indicate current version. Any file that is out of sync or not in version is indicated with a red box in front of the icon. Once you are ready, you can right click on your project code base and commit to project changes to check in your files to the repository. Enter your respective log message and click on OK. To check the versioning and the log history on the project, right click on the code base and click on View Project History. And you should see all the versioning information and the history of the code base. Thank you.